Hey guys, um, Dr. David Lim, board certified laser dermatologist. Hey, today we'll be talking about a uh, different type of peel. Uh, we talked about an AHA glycolic acid peel early on and how to do with all the DIY tips and all. Uh, you've seen my TCA peels uh, as to DIY with my 9%, 8% concentration. Today I'll show you how we approach an acne patient and we're doing what's known as a lactic acid peel. So briefly, lactic acid is also called an AHA or an alpha hydroxy acid peel. It needs to be neutralized. It's weaker, generally speaking, it's weaker than a glycolic acid peel, concentration for concentration wise. Um, and it's usually more gentle on the skin compared to a glycolic acid, but still it falls under the umbrella of an AHA or an alpha hydroxy acid peel. Um, lactic acid peels are one of the oldest, in fact this is the oldest peel known to man or woman. Um, in fact this is called a Cleopatra peel, because if you look it up or google it, you'll see that Cleopatra used lactic acid, not in bowls like this, but she actually used um, goat's milk, um, which produced um, lactic acid. So sour milk was the first uh, invention of chemical peeling by the Egyptians thousands of years ago. Obviously since then we've um, formulated it in different strengths, different concentrations, uh, in a, in to deliver it in a much safer manner to treat um, conditions such as acne, which you'll see very shortly. So hang tight and we'll show you how it's done. We decided to do our lactic acid peels, which are basically um, like sour milk peel peels. Um, and they're a form of gentle chemical peeling which can help exfoliate the skin and we're using light treatment for your acne, yeah? Mm -hmm. So overall satisfaction rate, pretty good? Very good, yeah. Very good, oh, cool. Very good. Cool, so we've cleaned the skin and now we're going to put some lactic acid. Rach, how many concentrate, what concentration of lactic acid This is you actually use? 40 because I know her skin. 40, wow, that is super strong. So guys, hey, um, just be really careful. Um, Rachel knows what she's doing. I'll just, give me a tick, I'll just show you. This is the um, doc, doc aspect doctor we're, um, we're using. Um, and it's a neutralizer right there. So um, here we go. We're actually peeling using 40, wow, that's a good strength. So guys, don't do this at home, please. <laughs> um, just see a professional. Rach over here is a professional. So um, Rachel's done realistically a couple of thousand peels before yeah. um, so she knows um, the skin backwards and she and most importantly she knows yeah, Nicholas, um, yeah. Nicholas skin backwards <laughs> I always say to uh, if you if you really want good treatments go to one person because one person knows the skin um, better than anyone else so I get my nurses to actually look after one person so they don't go to see different nurses especially when it comes to laser treatments and chemical peels because that way um, we know how to push it up um, and um, that's great for the patients. Does it sting? It does. It, it does. stings, but it's good sting. Good stinging. Okay. It smells like manuka honey. Yeah, really? It yeah, it's actually mm. a really nice prep with this, um, with that. And um, Rach, so how long do you leave it on for? I'm gonna watch her skin. Yep. And what are you it's looking for? It's reacting quick. The erythema. Good. So you're looking for redness. What else are you looking for? Asking the patient for yeah. pain, aren't you? So you're always getting feedback from the patient. How's everything going? All good. All, All good. good. Still fine. Not, not painful. Uh, nope. like, yeah. So we always ask the patient, for so any chemical peel that we do, it's always the same thing. We always look, we always look, we always ask the patient. If they're in discomfort, we neutralize early. Um, if there's a lot of erythema or redness, we neutralize early as well. So we don't take for granted what we've done before, um, but we're always looking, always seeing, and make sure, making sure that there's no reaction. It's pretty cool. Yeah. It's pretty clear, pretty good. I'm gonna give it one more minute. We're gonna give it one more minute, guys. And what what I'll do so what I'll do what I've done with her regime is that I've combined. Um, so we're going natural here. So we're, we're using light treatment. Um, so I'm using this Lutronic system. Um, so sometimes I use red light. Um, sometimes I use blue light. Sometimes I mix it. What we're we doing this time? We're using this. We're using red what, light. Red light. Okay, so the action spectrum for the porphyrins for the reds actually go a lot deeper compared to the blue. Um, so we're getting good results with using the Lutronic, so we'll keep, um, we'll stick to that. Sometimes what I do is I do red and blue at the same time. The reason why this light works is because it activates the porphyrins which are found in P. acnes, which are the bacteria that cause acne. So um, that's the logic behind the red light. Okay guys, so, so okay guys, so now, now we're, we're yeah. neutralizing it, so now it's been about how many minutes was it, you timed it? It's been two minutes. Two minutes. And a little bit, it's, she's just going a bit red. Yep, and that's why we're neutralizing it. So what off, how many percent did you start off with, Rach? 20. Yep, and then? Um, and then 40 and then 60. 
Okay, cool. But most people get a good result of 20. I just want to speed things up for me clearly. Cool. So remember, Rach is a professional guy, so don't <laughs> just do, do things very slow at home. In fact, um, I sometimes even advocate a 5% just to be safe. Um, and you'll probably get away with doing them. Yeah, at home 5% and slowly go up from there because it's um, yeah we're f it's always safety first, yeah, because we're doing pretty pretty um, high end stuff. Um, very important, see look what Rachel's doing, she's actually neutralizing around the corners of the nose. We always can make sure that, yeah, that area there, because if you're gonna get burnt, that's where that happens, as well as the corners of the mouth. Um, sometimes, you know, I like to put Vaseline around that area to protect uh, yeah. QV. Um, and she's being very careful to neutralize everything, make sure everything's off. No. Oh, really? Or maybe on my lips. Like, yeah, there. That's fine. Cool, that was easy. Cool. And now we're going to put it under the light. Cool, so that's step number one, which is lactic acid peeling for um, acne. And like I said, for acne, yes, I'll get a lot of comments, why don't you use a BHA or an AHA? Reason being is that this patient prefers a lactic acid peel, and guess what, it works, so why am I going to change it? Mm -hmm. um, but yes, the logic behind an uh, uh, sorry, a BHA peel, a salicylic acid peel is there because a BHA is more, has got anti-inflammatory properties. So, um, but having said that, each one to their own. Um, I personally like my own TCA peels, but um, everyone has their own preference. And we're gonna do the light very shortly. Okay, so we are doing the, um, we're doing the light treatment now. So Rachel's just using um, the Lutronic system. We're using red. Yes, it's an argument for blue um, because blue is more superficial and it does target the, um, the porphyrins better, but we're using red because it works on her. Um, sometimes we use both. So yeah, and sometimes we use both. So Rachel's absolutely right. Hey, Rach, look over here. Is that a hickey on your neck? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no. Okay, we'll okay. Oh, is that hickeys? Okay, don't worry, we'll be beam it later. We'll, we've always got a device for everything, including hickeys. So I'll do, a, I'll do a series on how to remove hickeys using a laser at some stage. But anyway, today, we're, today it's a professional channel here, so today we're concentrating on, um, on acne and combination treatments. So this light, um, Rach, how, how long do you plan to leave this on for? Um, this one was 16 minutes, so that's 15 joules. 50 so joules, yeah. Going high. Cool, cool. So we're going pretty hard with this. It's absolutely safe. This is also called a low level laser emission device. Um, it's actually just uh, a wavelength of light. In this case, we're using um, 633 nanometers, which is the red light spectrum. Uh, and we're cooking it for 50, you're saying 50? 50 joules, but I might drop it just because we have peeled her. Yeah, cool. So, um, yeah, it's working really well for her, and that's it, guys. So, um, I'll catch you next week. Of course, I didn't told you, sometimes my nurses have too much fun over the weekend, and we have a hickey. So, this is the versatility of what's known as a VB pulse dye laser. Uh, it actually targets the uh, blood vessels, and it's great for bruises, and sometimes for dirty... Uh, so, sorry, for, uh, for, for people who have too much fun, hickeys as well. So, here we go. Two shots, one, two, two shots, one, two, and one there. And that hickey will go in a couple of days time. Thanks for that guys. Nice look. Thanks very much for watching this rather long video. Um, I try to do educational videos and I would love you to subscribe for more information. I post a video up every Saturday, um, Brisbane time in Australia. Um, the other thing as well is that I am on Instagram, so I try to post uh, maybe two or three videos um, a week. Uh, so if you're really bored uh, and you want to learn something new, follow me on Instagram. Once again, thanks for watching this video and remember to subscribe for more information. Thanks. Bye.